Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Alex and I have come down to London again for a little getaway and we're going to see Sleeping Beauty at the Royal Opera House uh, tonight. So yeah, I thought I'd bring you along with us. Uh, I've just checked into the hotel. We're staying at the Dorset City Hotel, which is literally slap bang next to Algate Underground Station, sort of east central London. Uh, yeah, and we're, we're here for two nights. So yeah, I've literally just walked in, I've checked in. This is what the room looks like. It's a pretty cute room, really. Um, it's all like a glossy, glossy wall cabinet finish. Really nice. I quite like these pillows, or this pillow, with like the nice headboard and stuff. Yeah, it's getting dark. This is the view from the window. So you can see, oh, there's the gherkin, that one. And uh, that way is like central London, and then the Thames just down to the left. And there's a garden at the other side of this church here, because I remember going to sit in there in the summer. But yeah, you've got a little desk area. I don't think we'll be doing any work. Decent sized TV. Uh, I don't know what you've got in here. Oh, fridge. What's in the fridge? Just some water, that's quite nice. Glasses. A little tray, a nice cooler if you can have some wine. Put that back, you've got all your little bits of bobs and teas. Oh, have they got peppermint? Yeah, I love a bit of peppermint. What else have we got? Chamomile. Biscoff biscuits, nice. And then what have you got in here? So you've got your safe. That's always really handy to pop my laptop in. And then in here you've got a little, a little shaving cream set. I mean, I won't be using that, but a little shoe shine paper and dental kit. That's quite handy. And then hair dryer, which is great because I definitely enjoy using my hair dryer. And then just storage at the bottom. And then a really good size. Oh, it's got an umbrella. Well, that's quite nice. But I don't think I'll be using it because I think the forecast is pretty good. Cute little bedside alarm clock. And then, yeah, apologies for my stuff and my coat and whatnot. And then this is the bathroom, which again is quite a quite a nice bathroom, actually. A little vanity unit thing. It's the same products that we've got in our gym, in our David Lloyd gym, LMS. Quite a modern bathroom. And then toilet area. So yeah, very nice. So yeah, we're here for two nights and yeah, thought I'd bring you down and see what we get up to really. So we'll probably uh, head to the theatre. I think it'll probably take around about half an hour from here to get to the theatre, but we'd probably need to grab some McDonald's or something before. Don't think Alex will have eaten, but I've certainly not. Oh, I, well, I ate on the train. I had a, a cheese and mozzarella panini, but I'll definitely need something before the theatre. So we're going to watch Sleeping Beauty. I'm very excited about this. I love stuff like ballet and stuff. Like it just, I don't know. I've never, I've never actually been to the Royal Opera House um, except that party that I went to for Richard Brunson's uh, launch of his cruise thing. But I think I mentioned that in one of my other vlogs, but I've not actually seen anything, not actually seen a production. So I said to Alex, shall we go and see something? And we managed to get seats and stuff. So very excited about that. And I'll let you know how it goes. I'll let you know what we think. Um, and then I'm not really too sure what else we'll do in London. I think we'll probably go to Soho maybe tomorrow, uh, go out for a meal. And yeah, so I'll take you along. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, if, you, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And if you enjoy the video, please like, give me a thumbs up. Just come down, we've just got the tube down to Temple. You can see in the background the London Eye. So pretty, London is so pretty at night. You can see over there, we've got the Oxo Tower. We look down there towards Westminster. It's so pretty. All the ferries are still going, going down. I just love London on a night. I think it's so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to head up to the Royal Opera House. Oh, I thought something was about to run me over. And uh, yeah, go and see the the Sleeping Beauty. We just quickly scoffed at McDonald's and we've finally got here with a few minutes to spare. 
So this is coming up to the Royal Opera House at the end. We've got Covent Garden to the right. But I've never actually been in this side. Um, so I'm really excited about this. And that's like the roof. I think there's like a restaurant on the roof up there. Yeah, how exciting. Sleeping beauty. This is in the foyer. It's so cool in here. It's like that downstairs restaurant and then the gift shop at the front. Obviously I can't vlog in the actual uh, performance but right, let's go and find our seats. hotel um, I couldn't really vlog on the way home because it was really cold but Sleeping Beauty was incredible it was such a good performance really genuinely really thoroughly enjoyed it um, I thought the ballet dancers were incredible and honestly how they how they managed to stand on their toes for that long is insane like it's 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 just to watch it in real life is really amazing um, it was just brilliant yes yeah, so I highly recommend that for anybody that wants any anything to go and uh, do in London definitely go and go and see the uh, the sleep it's called the Sleeping Beauty at the Royal Opera House um, yeah thought it was great really really enjoyed it so pretty tired now so just chilling I've just had a shower um, probably make a cup of tea and then probably head to bed so I will see you in the morning morning just woke up had a lovely sleep genuinely that was one of the nicest sleeps I've had in ages the quilt in here I think it's duck feather or some some form of feather um, it was absolutely lovely it was like sleeping on a cloud so yeah I very very much enjoyed that and uh, I just spent the whole evening <laughs> the whole evening I just spent my whole dream dreaming about the ballet honestly I think I was wriggling so much I was probably trying to perform it myself but genuinely it was um, I just can't believe how good they are, how talented these people are. It's like, to not only stand on your toes is one thing, but to then twirl and stay in hold and then gallop around the stage like that. I think it's just incredible, honestly. Um, highly recommend, genuinely, it's worth the money if if you're down in London or anywhere around the, the world really that has ballet, definitely go and see it. I'd like to go and see some more. So yeah, so... We're going to just chill today and just head around London. Um, I think we might head into Soho later for a drink. Um, but there's no specific plan, so we'll just see what we get up to. And I'll take you along with me. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, let's see what we get up to. It's a lovely day. Let me show you. Let me show you London town. Yeah, look at it. It's very nice. Very pretty. And I can spot a pret down there. So I'm definitely gonna call there and get a pastry. I like a pet a pret uh, croissant or something. Pan of chocolate. Yeah. Lovely London. Oh that's a nice clock. Up there. And the construction men doing the stuff down there. Go ahead, 
Coffee? Oh, black sheep. Thank you. Cheers. Been for this, I've been carrying it around for ages. Yeah, this is so cool. Look at this. Really cool. This is so cool, it's actually just a TV. That's so realistic. We just thought we'd try this for lunch, Guksu, a Chinese noodle place just around the corner from the hotel. So I went for vegetable fried rice um, with chips as the base, as the two bases. And then on top I got salt and pepper chicken and uh, caramel chicken. So really excited to try this. <laughs> Coming down here because Alex wants to buy some fragrances, like a roll-on fragrance, these type of things. I got this one, which stood out to me. It smelled like um, lychee. So yeah, I've got that for skiing, so I can take it in my hand luggage. And Alex got like this ooid. What was it that you got? Arabian oud. Arabian oud. Very cool. Dalia, free must speak for one of them with mayo. Thank you. Looking forward to this. Salt beef, pickle and mustard bagel. Open every single day of the year apparently. Yeah. <laughs> 